Hey guys, so we're right outside Goodwill. I'm gonna try to go and do some thrifting at like several different locations. Um, I'm gonna warn you guys, the thrift shops where I live aren't really that good, but I'm gonna try really hard to find some cool pieces. Maybe I'll even vlog in there, who knows? I mean, it's an adventure at this point, but um, no, I really wanna find some like cool, like tomboyish, like kind of like vintagey like t-shirts and like maybe like sweaters for the winter just because it's kind of cold. Like, I don't know, maybe like turtlenecks, vintage t-shirts and stuff, but all I'm probably gonna get is like ragged old undies and like nasty ass socks, but we'll see. Um, this is my first location. I don't even know where I am right now, but it is a Goodwill. So I'll keep you guys updated and then I'll tell you guys like whether like places I decide to go to and what I get. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. like roaming down the aisles of your local Goodwill or whatever thrift shop because that's the one thing that like you really that's like the one key skill that you really need you really need to be patient set aside like two hours or maybe just at least an hour of time if you know you're gonna go thrift shopping it's kind of like a weekend thing but I did manage to go like some days during after school and stuff but you definitely want to have more than 30 minutes in there because first of all most of the stores are going to be kind of big and also they're going to be very messy. So you're going to have to be like looking through every single rack, every single like, um, like section that they have to find like those cute nitty gritty, like cute stuff. And most of it is like, you know, junk, like I said before, but if you really, really look, you'll find some really nice things. tip two we're doing a little skim skim this is like a tip one and a half do not um do not bring like a cart in because that's just such a hassle especially when you're roaming through the aisles of your cart and there's people but this is i'm a cart just watch me that's what happens when you're at a thrift store do not bring do not use one of their carts i know it's gonna be tempting you're gonna be like oh i'm gonna get so many cute outfits those carts only stop you from finding cute outfits they're tip two or trick two or whatever you can call it hack two um so hack two i would recommend you go in there with a certain idea of what you want in mind for example if you're gonna look for jackets the minute you go in there run to the jacket section i'm not saying it's like black friday but it honestly kind of is i always have that mentality mentality of like oh um like whenever i see people at the thrift stores if i go in there and i already see people looking at like those vintage jackets that i'm looking at i get so scared that they're gonna pick the one i want so yeah go in prepared have like a mental checklist of what you want to look at so you don't spend 10 hours there looking for random stuff um for me like I always look at specific sections. Like I never look at like the dress section because I, I don't wear dresses. Maybe you do. So maybe you can add that onto your little checklist. But there are like certain sections of a thrift store I will never, ever, ever look at because that's just like not my style or like that's just not the thing I want to buy. So you just don't want to waste time looking at everything. is a very very important one i think this is something that i learned just by searching online and asking people but this is like probably the like the number one tip and i probably should have put it as tip one but oh well it's fine i'm not gonna edit this like crazy but anyways tip three would be um look at the schedule for your thrift shop and try not to go in on days that are super busy so for example the weekends 
if you can avoid it, do not shop on the weekends at the thrift store. That's usually when they have the least amount of stock because people have already been shopping all week for like all these items and stuff. So usually during the weekends, most of the good stuff is gonna be gone. And also another thing to add on to that, everyone's gonna be going on the weekend. So there's gonna be even more of a crowd and you're just not gonna be able to find what you need because there's gonna be so many people, you're gonna be like crammed in and stuff. So. Um, if you can, I would go on like a Monday or something. And also to add on to that, to tip three, um, it's also a benefit if you don't go on the weekend because most thr most, most thrift stores have sales dur throughout the week because they know it's going to be slow throughout the week. So for example, I just went to a thrift store on, I think it was like on Monday or something and it was 75% off like the entire store. <laughs> finally figured out a tip for here it is be ready for it it's a big one um this has to do with like finding thrift shops online and stuff so let me just give you like the crash course um this honestly pertains to anywhere you are whether you're like in like a small town or uh, like I don't know, LA or something, but I mean, I mean, it varies a little bit too. It just really depends, but I'm pretty sure all my viewers are from Texas anyways. If you're not from Texas, that's crazy cool. I can't believe I have fans nationwide. Oh my gosh. Anyways, so tip four is um, research your thrift shops whenever you, um, prior to going. And the crash course would be that um, in most places, like in most cities, Goodwill's, Salvation Armies, and like other like more donation based stores like that, they're gonna have um, cheaper clothes, but it's not necessarily gonna be like as um, like ap appealing to you as you may like want it to be. For example, there's not gonna be as much like aesthetic clothing or like cute little vintage outfits that you see that people find online and stuff or find and post on Instagram. Um, those are usually found typically in more like vintagey and more like selective like um thrift stores the ones that usually like either buy from people or um like they pick out and just like put it into their own collection and obviously those thrift stores the ones that are more like selective and stuff are going to be more expensive but you just need to like figure out what you want and then choose a thrift store based on that Bye. Okay, so my last point, tip, trick of the day, tip five, is um, doing your research on clothes. And I know this sounds very vague, but I'll be a little more specific. Make sure you kind of like have a general idea of what brands you like and um, like the quality of clothing you like. Like for example, like the materials, uh, like know the differences between like cotton, polyester, like latex, acrylic, cashmere, alpaca, and all that stuff. Um, because it's very important when you're picking out a sweater, for example, you don't want to pick out a sweater that's like made out of polyester. If you can find a sweater that fits you and looks nice and it's made out of like a hundred percent wool, a hundred percent cashmere or something, or even honestly like, um, what's it called? Like organic cotton. Those are very usually expensive materials and that's how you know you're getting your bang for your buck. I think that's the saying. <laughs> Okay guys, so we finished all five tips and tricks to thrift shopping, a beginner's guide I would say. Um, all of these five tips and tricks are from my personal knowledge, so don't hold those things against me. If you didn't find anything useful, then too bad. If you did, I am really, really happy for you and I hope your thrifting experience goes really, really well um, if it's your first time. And if it's not your first time, hopefully you got like a few takeaways from this video as well or you just found it interesting because I mean, I mean, who doesn't find me interesting? I'm, I'm really cool, I think. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you guys liked the video. I'm not sure when I'll post next, but I'll really try to be consistent with it and um, I'm honestly just exploring new things to like film and stuff. All I know is that I really like um, video editing. I really like um, just like shooting things. So I'm 
it might be like a cooking video next, it might be like a how-to video, could be a vlog, might be another like beginner's guide to this, 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 who knows, you're in for a surprise, and um, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do. Have a good day, bye bye